Hello everyone, it's Tess and today's tip 290 and I thought I figured out how to unlock my rotation thing but I guess it didn't work so I'll try again tomorrow. Um, today at tip 290 is going to be how do you, how are you a leader of your own life? I found a couple of articles, um, one from Inc, um, how to be the leader of your own life, another one from Success and I just thought that these kind of ideas were good because Really, the most successful thing we can do is is our own life. It starts with us. Um, good morning, Thomas. Good to see you. This will be a quick one today. Um, I guess I will share some of these thoughts that Inc. has about being a leader of your own life. And I think in order to be a, a success or a leader in any area of your life, it does start with you. And Inc. is talking about giving some pointers. And what it's talking about is, number one, setting goals or uh, just setting in intentions of setting intentions of moving forward and we know thinking long term versus short term but you want to make it something you enjoy and you want to make it that you're moving in a direction long term I know a lot of goal setting has been going on with Doc V law of attraction is not as strong in goal setting but you have to kind of make sure that you're moving in a forward motion uh, the number two pointer is lead by example and I think this is an important one because sometimes we expect more of people than what we're, what we're giving ourselves or sometimes in setting that example of what you're willing to give lets the other person know that you're not asking. The most, the bosses I've respected the most in my careers are the ones that have never asked me to do something that they, they themselves wouldn't do. Good morning, Brenda. Good to see you. Um, so I think in setting the example you're showing somebody that you're not asking anything of them that that you yourself wouldn't do good morning joan uh the next item they say is be fearless i know that's a hard one for a lot of people uh being fearless and making that comfort circle bigger if we can learn to enjoy the process of growing our comfort circle and experiencing new things it just makes it much more simpler and it makes it more enjoyable um we're here to enjoy life and i think so often we look for something to be miserable about good morning and if we can start to look at that word fear is just nothing more than growth and learning and enjoying it. It does. It is something that we learn to have fun with. The number four pointer from uh, Inc. is that we have to honor others. Others will tell you to make sure you get all the credit for and validation you are due you. But in the same respect, you want to give credit to the people around you because most of us don't accomplish something on our own. There's a team involved in doing it. And you will see that people are almost afraid to share uh, that they didn't get there alone. And you do have a lot more respect for somebody who recognizes that their success was because of a group of people that helped them. And we know in Doc V's group, we have we mentor each other, we reach our hands out to each other, we seek other people that are mentoring us. So it's never a job done alone. We get farther when we do it as a group. Number five from Inc. is embrace new ideas and opportunities. And that kind of goes back to the idea of being fearless. You want, you don't want to shy away from anything new. Um, it's an opportunity to grow, to make your comfort circle bigger, to take on new things and to maybe find something that you're passionate about that you didn't know because you didn't reach out and grow that comfort circle to something more than before. Uh, number six for Inc. is question everything. Um, become a person who's always asking questions. The more you question, the more you learn, the more you know. If you weren't born with it, they say develop that drive to learn more. And I think even Doc V talks a lot about that, that, that we are here to continually learn. And if we continually learn, it just makes the, the journey a lot more fun and exciting. Uh, this is a very good one. Do what's right and not what's easy. I know my dad is a person who's very mechanical in nature. It bugs him worse than anything for, well, good morning, Rachel. Um, he does not like shortcuts. He does not like, he wants things done properly. And I totally get that because in a lot of cases, our lives or somebody else's are at stake. If you don't, you know, like as a person who works on cars, you don't take shortcuts on brakes. You don't take shortcuts on even tires. Like um, it bothered me recently. I saw a YouTube on how they were carving out a thicker tread on a tire and 
Some short prints are not worth doing. Uh, breakaway tires. I ran into somebody at, at a job one time who was driving expressways on breakaway tires. And I'm like, you understand that at 50, 60 miles an hour, breakaway tire means that if they heat up, they will break apart. You're actually, it's not something to be proud of. So in this one, it's saying do what's right, not what's easy. And the reason is because there's probably something underlying it as to re why it needs to be done a certain way. I had a manager once that would tell me that when he first started a position, he would let an entire year go by to see the cycle from start to finish before he made a change. In that, he needed to understand how it was going to impact the next process. It doesn't mean we don't change, but it means we want to think it through and understand it before we take the step. Number eight for ink was find goodness and beauty in everyone and everything. Um, I love starting my day walking now, looking for sunrises, sunsets, and, and beautiful animals and conversation with my mom. Um, it does start the day off in a really positive way, and it makes things feel good. It makes me start the day with a win. So finding goodness and beauty in everyone and everything and start your day that way really just kind of brings you to a good place and a good place to start and reach out. Number nine for ink was actively reject pessimism. Again, that goes back to fear. If you're pessimistic, if you're afraid to try new things, you end up stuck in a rut and none of us want to be in that rut. Number 10 for ink is be the change you want to see in the world. That's back to the other comment they made about lead by example. Well, hi, Jackie. Good to see you. You want to lead by example. And um, if you react in a certain way, then maybe people will react to you in that way. And uh, I know I've done a lot with law of attraction, and it is kind of true in that they talk about like if people are in a place where they're unhappy, negative, uh, under the worry line, their mood is not good. If you don't allow yourself to fall there, they either join you in a higher place or they break until they can come to you in a higher place. So definitely, I think, um, be the change you want to see in the world. And I'm finding if I keep myself in a place of higher energy, meaning that I feel good, I'm looking for joy and happiness in life, the people around me either join me in that place or they break away until they can join me in that place. And I like feeling good. So I'm going to choose to feel good more often than allowing myself to fall into the unhappy places with people. We've got a lot of unhappy people right now. And I'm hoping that over time, we can all start to look for something to be happy about. Number 11, this one could be a page right out of Doc V's book. But number 11 in ink is if you want to be a leader of your own life, you have to surround yourself with mentors and teachers. Um, you don't ever want, and Doc V says this all the time, you don't ever want to be the smartest one in the room. You want people with more experience. You want to seek to continually be inspired. You want to be learning something. You want to be seeing something new. You want to be experiencing things in a different way. And I think that's important. Number 12, and the last one for ink, is care for and about people. And I think that's true. They say that um, even in all these business uh, masterminds that I've been going to, that you want to service people. You want to offer them more than what they're getting from anybody else. They say business will take care of itself if you are taking care, taking care of the people. So if people have a problem, and this Chris Noggle says this all the time, if you find out what people's problem is and solve the problem, they'll be loyal to you forever. And that that I, that is true. People want to be treated respectfully. So Inc., I'll kind of go through that real quick. They're 12 pointers. And then I'll share a little bit from the other article. Number one is they said set goals for your life. Um, just think of a direction you're going in. Do you want more than sitting in front of the remote control uh, with the television? Number two is lead by example. And I think all of us, have more respect for somebody who does try to live the life that they're asking others to live. Number three is be fearless. And being fearless just means taking opportunities to grow your comfort circle so that you can experience new things and learn along the way. Um, if we're fearful, we're afraid. And if we're afraid, we don't reach out and do new things. So I think I, I almost like to get rid of that word fear and just use it as an opportunity to grow, make my comfort circle bigger and enjoy the life that is before me. I don't want to wake up with regrets one day. I want to have slid into home base, um, totally exhausted, 
completely engrossed and completely involved in my life. And I hope that same thing for you guys too. Number four is honor others. And I think we have to honor ourselves and others. Be respectful. Uh, a lot of that can be lacking nowadays, but if we can try to keep ourselves feeling good, that's a good leadership quality. And it, it lets people want to be involved in your life and for you to be involved in theirs. We can do things in a nice way. Some people are struggling and they don't. Well, hi, Mary Doe. Good to see you. Um, we don't always come at it that way, but I think the world is better if we come at it at a very, very positive, optimistic look. Well, hi, Dolly. Good to see you, too. Um, so honor others, be kind, be helpful. The next one, number five, is embrace new ideas and new opportunities. Again, that's about not being fearful. Open up, create a bigger comfort circle, learn more. Life is exciting. Make life exciting. Look for things to be excited about. And learning and experiencing new things can be very exciting. And that's what I'm finding is I'm trying to learn to be excited about all the new opportunities to that are presented. Number six for Inc. was question everything. And question it not, um, you can question things in a nice way. You don't have to be the mean person going, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Question things because you want to understand more because you might have a pointer to help somebody. But if you come to them and say, I, I, I want to understand more, they're going to be open to telling you a lot. If you come at them and try to tell them they're wrong, they'll just close down on you. And that is about how we approach people, respectful and honor. Number seven is do what's right, not what's easy. And I, I kind of equated that back to my dad does a lot of work on cars or homes. He doesn't like shortcuts. He thinks that you put people in jeopardy or that you actually just create more work for yourself later. And I think that's true. Even accounting, I've noticed some people want to like rush through things and we'll fix it later. Well, if you fix it later, it turns into a big problem that can take a long time to fix. Number eight is find goodness and beauty in everyone and everything. There is something good about everyone. Sometimes we might not be able to connect with them because they're in that place where their mood and their happiness is low. They're worried, unfriendly. You know, it's always nice if we can bring them up higher, feeling good in a better mood or in a place of love and happiness. But if they're not and they refuse to try to be in that place, sometimes it's better just to break away, let them come to terms a little bit, and then when you can communicate. But don't let somebody that's in that place drag you there with them because sometimes it's hard to pull out of it. Then it kind of goes in line with number nine, avoid pessimism, reject it, and don't participate in it. It's easy to get drawn into that, but Life is so much more fun and exciting when you look for reasons to be happy and when you look for reasons to try to make someone else happy. But if they're choosing not to be happy, if they're choosing to stay in that low place, you have to consciously sometimes make a decision that if they're not going to come up with you, that maybe you just have to break and come back and revisit it when they're in a place where they can be, when it can be mutually beneficial because the last thing you want to do is get dragged down to you. Uh, this is a good one. 10, be the change you want to see in the world. Um, I try, and it's hard sometimes with masks, but I'm trying to be very hopeful and optimistic to like even people I run into in stores. Um, and, and it's surprising me how much they're appreciating it because so often people are forgetting to say thank you or that I appreciate that you're here. And just a few kind words can make a difference for a person in a day. It says surround yourself with mentors and teachers and all of you are that for me. Doc V is that for me. Chris Noggle is that for all of us and Doc V for all of us. So, I, oh, hi, you Pendra. Good to see you. I'm not sure if I said hello. Good morning. So do the things that you can to surround yourself with positive people. Be a positive person for those around you. And when people are ready, we can reach our hand out and help each other up. And number 12, the final one for Inc. was to care about other people. And I do think that's important. We want to care about other people. Chris Naga will always say that if you are helping somebody solve a problem, they'll be your customer for life. And I do think that's true. We're loyal to the people that are good to us. But in the same sense, we want to be good to other people. We want to, we want to gift as much as we're receiving and in a lot of cases gift more we can be nice to each other and help each other out and maybe in doing so we help a lot of other people um, i'll look through success to see if there was anything more that wasn't said in ink they are saying remember it's a mindset it's not a role i do agree with that we have to change how we think 
We're not in competition with each other. There's a lot of things out there for all of us. We want to help each other to achieve the mo most that we can and to help the most people that we can. Because I think there is a success for all of us, but done the right way, it can help a bunch of people instead of just being one directional. Um, small actions, we all know that we get a lot farther if we just take baby steps. Um, they're, they're kind of talking about a lot of what was in ink. Take control of your thoughts. Keep yourself in a place of feeling happy moods, joyful, happy love. You don't, you don't make good decisions when you're angry, disgruntled, or worried. We want to stay in a positive place. Take initiative. Um, try to help other people, but try to also help yourself. And be proud of great work. Uh, don't be, and they said this in ink too, don't be so caught up in getting credit. The credit will come around and make sure that we give credit to other people. Again, setting that example. Um, it says prioritize personal growth, and we all know that's important. And that personal growth they're kind of saying is in all areas of your life. And Doc V says that a lot about our weight loss journey. We want to prioritize learning so that our growth at home, at work, in relationships, in our body, and our finances are all improving. I think there's a lot of positive things in this world. I know it's been painful for a couple of years, but if we start with ourselves, trying to find a place where we feel good and try to help others who are ready to feel good, maybe we can all kind of start to make the energy or the mood or the way people feel a little bit better today and every day. That would be my hope for everyone is to find something to be excited about, something to love, there's going to be growth parts of it, but it can be a journey that we enjoy. And I am enjoying this journey. I am enjoying the time that I spend in learning with all of you guys. And I hope that together we can all show everyone else that may be struggling a little bit that our hands are out for when they're ready to kind of step into a life that can feel good and can be productive and moving forward in wonderful, wonderful ways. I wish you the very best and do something that makes you feel good, expand your comfort circle, and let you see the world with brighter eyes than maybe you did yesterday. Have a beautiful day and thank you.